to do something a little different with the intro music you know I always play a very lit thing because I'm always super excited and um but I have Venus and Pisces okay and so I love all kind of music okay so this is more of my kind of vibey this is kind of what I just listen to more on a day I don't just jam trap all the time because that's I'm not that lit you know what I'm saying um, but I am but 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 you know I, I I like all kind of different things so that was a different song um shout out um, and so, welcome. This is the chakra energy spread, okay? Um, yeah, I, I, I really do. I'm st starting to bring a lot more of my natural lifestyle and, and things I do to get, get by and things I do to, you know, increase my spiritual awareness, um, things I, I've done, um, through my awakening, um, and so, bringing them and, and sharing them publicly, okay, even down to my turn-up videos, okay, I'm going to start making. Um, but as a dancer mainly, and even I did two years at University of South Carolina for exercise science, um, and, you know, I got an AP, a five on my AP bio in high school, um, so I've loved biology, I love anatomy, I love sociology, took lots of class sociology, social psychology, um, even down to forensic psych, um, I, I had a psych minor at, well, it was a major, then I tried to drop it to a minor at Marymount Manhattan College. Um, and so the, there was a lot of things that I understand and I really love about, <coughs> excuse me, about the way the universe works and just energy in general. Um, but from a left brain perspective with the school, but also now, you know, all of this knowledge of, of the intuitive and all of this knowledge of the subconscious realm and, and all the energies that we can't see, you know, and the workings and the, the way that the, the fabric of the universe, the things that it's really made of, um, that we get guidance from, okay? And the stars, astrology, all these things, it's more right brain. So trying to really bring that together and share, okay? And so with chakras, they're so, so important. They're the main energetic units, kind of like highways, you know, it's kind of like intersection points, okay? Um, and they each kind of hold a different frequency, um, an energetic signature, kind of like the zodiac signs, each have a different frequency of the planets, okay? Um, and different energy is funneled through there, okay? So, for example, um, this, this is a small, I'm not going to get deep into chakras, but um, your heart chakra, okay, fourth chakra, it, 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 anything dealing with joy and happiness, where do you feel it? Here, okay? When you're sad and you're having something, you know, hurting your heart, where do you feel it? Here, okay? Um, for example, a lot of people get, um, you know, when you can't speak, okay? You have sore throat or, or inflamed things, you can't speak. Or even, I've even noticed, a lot of times, you can even check with people, that happens all the time. Um, if someone wants to say something and they, 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 like, they think something but they don't say it, they'll usually cough. Because that's your your throat chakra, okay? It's the, the, how you s express yourself, okay? Um, I have my favorite color my whole life it has been blue for a long time. Um, I'm a Gemini moon, so I love communicating and I love sharing. And so I'm going to have a very strong... Um, I, I've, I've even had overuse of my throat chakra where, where it's too overactive, okay? Um, and I have to just learn to just kind of... You know what I'm saying? Um, and so that that's the energy of the throat chakra, okay? And so, um, you know, it just, it really, you can tell physically, um, but it's also about just if there's any blockages, it's where you're, you're feeling it, okay? Sometimes when you're, you know, really gaining a lot of height, like a lot of times I'm doing these videos or doing readings, my scalp itches, because that's your crown chakra, that's your connection to spirit, okay? Um, or when you're having lots of downloads, like full moon and stuff, you could have an itchy scalp, or your, the top of your head feels like it's tingling, okay? Um, or a lot of times I feel like this point here is like pulsing, okay? Your third eye. 
You know what I'm saying? So, brow chakra. So, there's a lot of things with these chakras. So, what I did is I'm going to do a um, chakra crystal spread for each sign to see which chakra you're either is either blocked for your sign or is is the main focus for this month, okay? Um, and so I have my tiger's eye, which is all about protection and, and willpower. Not when I say willpower, but survival and, and strength um, for the root chakra. I have calcite for the sacral chakra, okay? Um, which is about your pleasures and your sensuality, creativity. Um, I have citrine, which is about abundance and, and your will and, and what you want to manifest and, and, and um, for your solar plexus. We have rose quartz for the heart chakra, that's self-explanatory with love. Jade for self-expression and the throat chakra, sorry. For our, um, and this one can go two ways, it's kind of blended with the quartz, but we have amethyst, and they're both quartz, so it works, um, for your third eye chakra. And we have quartz for the crown, okay? Um, I also, and with the reading, am including selenite for just the strength in the reading and have a great, it's about this connection. And I I'll really use peacock ore is a chakra stabilizer. Okay, um, and so when I carry this around, it helps to balance my chakras out, okay? Um, and then to clear out negative energy and just clear the space, I have um, a snow obsidian right now. And I always carry that around for protection, okay? Um, especially if you're very sensitive emotionally, you've got to have some dark um, crystals on you, okay? Um, also, no dark clothing absorbs energy. So as I'm saying this, I also, as a healer, I feel like, always attract people that need to be healed, you know, and, and that's the same with me. I attract healers because, you know, it's the same. Um, but notice if you wear dark clothing and, and you're in a negative environment, notice how you feel because you absorb, black absorbs, okay? So just notice, okay? Um, yay. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm super excited to see where we're going to go with this and what signs you know, what we're feeling for each sign. Oh, I wanted to add one more thing. Um, I don't remember where I read or who told me um, or where I learned it or if I just knew it. I don't know. But to check in with your chakras to see the balance of your chakras, you have to, you know, you, vis you, can, you can see if you cannot visualize every color, whatever color you have a hard time visualizing, that is in your third eye, in your mind's eye, okay, um, that is the, the chakra that's blocked for you, okay? So what I mean by in your mind's eye, think of, like, right now, think of your, your room, or if you're not in it, or think of um, your favorite car, what it would look like, or think of um, what your your um, elementary school looked like growing up. How, how are you seeing that and not you're not physically looking at it? That's your third eye, okay? So the things you see in, in, that, in that vision, I see so many things when I look in, in my... Um, and so that's how you see, you know what I'm saying? And, and through your third eye. Okay. So a lot of times to see if my, my, my chakras are balanced, I'll close my eyes and I'll, okay, can I see red? Okay. I can see that yeah, red. Let me see some fire. Red. Let me see orange. Okay. And then I go all the way, yellow, green, blue, purple, indigo, all the way up. Okay. And you know, for a, the longest time, the, my hardest color to see was red. Okay, um, because I had a, a massive fear complex growing up. Okay, lots of this Virgo energy. So my Saturn's conjunct my Mercury, so that just you know made me very um, critical. Um, and Gemini Moon can just really anxiety. There was a lot Aquarius anxiety, Uranus. There was a lot going on where I always was afraid I was going to either die, be, end up in a terrible situation, be abducted. There's just a lot of fearful situations. Okay, um, my soul. With Cairo, I feel like I was murdered or, or killed for spirituality. Um, and so I have this fear of being killed or fear, you know, Chiron and Leo, okay? So this deep wound in myself, okay? Um, and so all those things were coming up and coming up. And then, you know, me moving to New York on my own, not knowing anyone and trying to stabilize myself. Uh, I've been up here for five years, but it's still been, you know, a journey of figuring out on my own. And so, for the longest time, I was having issues, um, you know, 
feeling stable, lots of lower back pain, um, lots of diarrhea, just stuff, you know, you're not being able to hold and ground yourself. At some points, I even felt like I couldn't even feel my feet walking on the ground, okay? That's how ungrounded I was because that root chakra was very, I mean, was very blocked. I had to do a lot of working on that root chakra, a lot of wearing red. Um, my best friend at the time, like at, through that entire period, was an Aries, okay? Which is the root chakra, that red energy. So the spirit, you know, hooked that up. That was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so really learning how to protect myself. And now I see red. I love the color red now. Um, I feel so much more stable, so much more grounded. Um, I, I, I gained an appreciation and love for earth as well. I have so many plants in my room now, you know what I'm saying? Um, I talk to animals, so many things, okay? Um, because of this this now strong root chakra. So, you know, all of these things I've had to really, I feel like through my awakening, go and heal all of them. Right now I'm still working on my solar plexus, okay? With my will and my manifestations and my self-confidence. Um, and so, and self-esteem, not necessarily self-confidence, but self-esteem. Um, and so there's different ones, okay? Um, and so we're going to get into them for your sign this month, okay? I really want to kind of give a nice explanation before I start it off. Um, lastly, of course, I always say it, um, check my services. I don't think there's crystal, there's, or you can ask questions about crystals, but there's not necessarily a crystal spread on my services, but I know about crystals and chakras, okay? Um, so you can do a one-hour chat with me, and we can do one of these spreads for you, and you can see what's blocked for you. Um, and it could be multiple things, okay? Um, and we can do lots of visualization things of, of working with spiraling the crystals, um, I keep saying crystals, the chakras, um, working in your third eye, different guided meditations I have, um, all those things, okay? So, Check my services out if you if this is interesting to you, um, and get in contact with me. Okay, Jesus. Um, so let's get started. Super excited. Here we go. What's up, Leo? Welcome to your chakra energy reading. I don't know why I had to say that. I guess because I'm talking to Leo. What's up, y'all? Okay. Oh crap! I didn't I didn't do it yet. Okay, so I guess you're gonna get to, you're gonna get to see the crystal reading. I had it already done before for everyone, so I guess I'm gonna have to just do yours really quick. Of course, Leo would get to see. Ugh, this is always. Ugh, you would get to see it. You would get to see it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. Definitely, definitely. Okay. And I was thinking that. Interesting. Okay, so, Leo, for Leo. What chakra could be blocked or the chakra that is um, needing attention this month is the solar plexus, okay? Which is um, the, the chakra of our will, okay? The chakra of our um, self-esteem, okay? Um, the chakra of our belief in ourselves, the chakra of, I don't know why I keep saying chakra of over and over again, but... Um, it is, you know, right here where, it, when your core, right where your core is, okay? If you have a strong core, that's, that's a, a strong, you know, you're, you're not going to be wobbling around. You're going to be held together and uh, able to move and do a lot of things, okay? Um, and dance, if you don't, I, I grew up dancing with a, a weak core and weak, a weak solar plexus, you know, I have really let people tell me to do any, I could, I just was a doormat. Um, but, you know we had to learn about boundaries through the years. Um, and you, you know, you have to understand everything to be able to teach anyway. So anyway, um, and so that was a week, <coughs> sorry, solar plexus chakra. The color of solar plexus chakra as well. So, you know, we'll get into ways to help it as well. But, um, you know, your stance for yourself. But in dance, what I was saying is the, the stronger your core, as I've gained more strength in my core, dance became a lot more grounding, a lot more easier, okay? And I felt a lot more natural and strong. And, I, and like, I could do a lot more movement because I had a strong center point, okay? Um, and so that is the solar plexus, okay? Um, it's yellow. And so if you're having difficulty visualizing bright yellow, um, you know, this is 
another indicator of a blocked solar plexus, okay? Um, ways to enhance it are by being around the color, so literally wearing yellow helps. Um, you know, when you're meditating in your mind's eye right now, like close your eyes and try to visualize the color yellow, okay? Try to visualize, you know, see a bee flying and I just really see the highlighted, you know, right now I'm really seeing the yellow in the bee, okay? Um, try to see a daisy that's yellow. Um, all these different things help to my moon, you know, keep looking at the moons, okay, in my tapestry. That's going to help, you know, trigger that yellow response, okay? Um, and because the yellow is a frequency, just like the energy, anything, you know, it all has the same, yellow has the same frequency as the frequency that your solar plexus emits. So staring at the color, there's even, um, if you follow True Brilliance, she, she posted a post about glasses you can get that you can get a film over for different colors and she was having i think maybe the red one or something like that but whatever color really enhances that that chakra for you okay and that gets that energy flowing for you um because it's the only color you see um also you know doing core work doing lots of ab work lots of twisting as well um lots of things movement in your stomach um to to engage your core really is going to strengthen your will and strengthen your um, solar plexus. Um, doing affirmations, affirmations, I am affirmations, um, declaring, you know, really writing, you know, um, really wh where you want to go, writing how far you've come, writing your strengths, um, looking at the positive aspects are all going to boost your solar plexus. Um, doing the camel pose in yoga, which is arcing back, and, and when you're sitting on your knees, um, and, or standing on your knees, rather, um, and arcing back. It's for your heart chakra a lot, but it also gets and opens up your solar plexus, okay? Um, sometimes when you have a, it can be over too much will, where you're, you're um, overly determined for one thing. It could be kind of small-minded, like, I'm, I want to get this. I'm going to, no, I don't really care. No, I'm going to get it right now. You will have a tightness right here, and a very tightness in, in the top of your, where the bottom where the bottom of your ribs are, okay? Right in your solar plexus is tight because that will is strong and tight, okay? And not flowing. You should have a, a flexible will. Like, okay, you, you want to get somewhere, but you don't mind compromising. You don't mind, you know, waiting to see if you can do a more optimal r route or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else with the solar plexus? Um, there's a, lots of meditations for solar plexus. Um, you know, and just really thinking of re-going in and, and really, you know, changing your belief about yourself, really redoing your belief about yourself, um, and seeing yourself as, as courageous, seeing yourself as, um, strong, okay? All these future, future, um, focusing on the future helps as well. So, like, seeing your higher self, okay? What would, how would your higher self deal with this? How would your higher self be right now, Okay. That helps to visualizing the future aspects, visualizing you strong, visualizing you with using your power, you using this sense of control is going to help, okay? So let's get into the energy of the situation. Spirit for the highest good of Leo Moon, Leo Sun, Leo Rising. Okay, let's see. So it's, it's, it's go, something going on with... Um, your exchange, the exchange with, okay, an exchange with a give or take with, with someone else, okay, exchanging gifts. So it's talking about the re the giving and receiving we do with others, like with energy, you know, if I'm giving you a lot of energy and you're not giving a lot back to me, we have a problem in exchanging gifts, you're getting more gifts than I'm receiving, you know what I'm saying? It needs to be an even exchange, okay, and again, again, this is not just physical gifts, this is all sorts of energy, okay? This could even be really focusing on someone's social media page and they're not even thinking about you. This is this is different energies like that, okay? Um, energies and you're communicating and really focusing on um, boosting someone up, but they don't really give you that much. They don't fan your fire, as, as what people are saying now, okay? Um, and so you're being advised to breathe, number one, so just to relax and, and, and try to recenter yourself. Um, deep breaths in your diaphragm and in your stomach really help to open up your solar plexus as well, okay? Um, and you're, you're, um, you're asked to imagine a new way, okay? You're really being asked to 
really see a way out of this. Um, but from a, what, 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 what would you do? Okay. It's not about right now they're saying you're really trying to be fair and you're trying to balance things out and like almost you're, you're, you're acting off of what you assume they would do, which is completely denying already what you're doing. Okay. And that denies your will, which is why your solar plexus is black. Okay. And so you need to, to find balance. It's about balancing both people's truth, not trying to suppress your truth in some way to to be able to exchange gifts okay if you have to suppress yourself too much this could be breathing and exhaling and leaving the whole situation and just putting that down okay and inducing okay because the balance there's no point okay so that's the energy there let's get some themes um spirit what are the themes you have this month for leo and solar place okay okay yeah so Oh, okay, yes. So, number one, first thing that came out, we got spirit animal, okay? So, check in with animals, you know. It was, what was crazy is when I was doing um, the weekly video, a fly flew on the windshield on February the 5th, and I was like, fly, a fly? Number one, it is like 18 degrees outside. Number two, it's February. There are no flies, you know what I'm saying? What? That is, flies mean new opportunities, new beginnings starting, and so I was like, oh my gosh, thank you for this sign that something new is budding, okay? Um, in your dreams, if, if you see different animals, okay? These animals are representations of, you know, they represent these different energies of courage and, and authority and strength and flexibility and compassion, all these different energies. And the animals are here to guide us and to be examples for, you know, who we should be. Okay, and so really tune in now to any signs you get through animals, okay? What you're getting as well, count your blessings. So with this, talking about the will, you know, another way to enhance, I was saying, your belief in yourself, all these affirmations, all these things, this is, this is, you know, counting your blessings and feeling grateful really allows you to want to do more. You're able to see, oh my gosh, yes, this is, this is working. This is, this is, you know, I, I've come so far. I, I look at all that I have, look at all that I've gained, look at all that I can now go and get, you know, um, that, that is that energy there. And the bottom of the deck, y'all speak your truth. Okay. And so this is, you know, again, with, with the, with the energy cards we were talking about, this is, um, you know, making sure you're asserting yourself. Okay. And, and not, it's not all about, keeping the peace okay there's fairness there can be fairness in with people with, with with both stances okay it's not just about you know being sacrificial in it okay because then your will gets denied okay um and lastly let's end with some advice <laughs> okay so um, number one, you got creative project. So again, if it is in a project, you know, you're working with others. Um, it, 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 let me just go ahead and say the show the second card. It blends. You got play as well. So it's having more innocence as well. Maybe, you, you know, the, the in whatever situation it's um, being taken very serious. And that's where a lot of the tension is coming from. Um, <clears throat> and, and where you don't really want to assert yourself because it's kind of a tense environment. But if you go in it with a more playful sense, you know, of, of expressing yourself. Why do you know, why do you feel like you have to, you know, attack someone or why do you feel like you're being attacked? You know, go in a, in a, in a playful sense. It, it's, you're just speaking your truth. So what is the bad thing about that? They should be speaking theirs. You know what I'm saying? And so have more play with that. Um, but I'm going to read both cards though. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Then you got play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. <coughs> Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to get like lost and like cough drops for all this talking. Um, 
But basically, this is saying, you know, this could even mean taking a break from work, okay? If, if it's that stressful, if this is, you know, if there's, you know, disharmony, a, a different viewpoint coming, going away and then walking back in something brings complete new perspective and just fresh air just does so much, okay? Um, yeah, that, yeah, so that's what I have, guys. Um, if you want to get a personal reading with me, check out my website. Until later, I always say that. And I will talk to you guys later, okay? I'll talk to you later. <laughs>